gentleman who's one of the top guides in Iceland. Uh, Ziggy is known as, and or Mr. Huga because of the fly. Now, it's a, it's a salmon fly first, but it's a very good sea trout pattern as well, and, and certainly worth having. Normally tied on a long shank treble like a camisan, but I'm going to tie it on this hook here, and this is a mustad, it's a DL71BN, in this case a size 8. It's a lovely strong double, it really is. I can see them getting very popular, these hooks. The thread I'm going to be using is a uni thread, 8 and fire orange. Now I've waxed the thread, I'm just going to start the thread at the eye, and then work my way down. Just using the waist piece to control the turns of thread. Meaning when you wind your thread, it's actually, if you keep the thread or the waist piece tight, I'll actually push it into the, oh, basically the next turn down and uh, keep it nice and neat. You want your thread turns all the way down until the thread's in line with the point of the hook and then remove the waist piece. Now the tail, and this what makes the flies, I don't know, these the Arctic runner here, in this case dyed black. Now I'm going to, I've got the, so a small length here for the size of fly I'm tying. But here's a larger piece as well. This is one of the most mobile hairs you could actually buy. And uh, it's very robust as well, not just soft, but robust. And if you have any dressings or patterns that you like, obviously if you see you've got a stoat's tail and you've just used black or black hair, like I, uh, normally I would use, it would be a Russian squirrel dyed black. I use this now. And... Uh, you will see how it swims in the water, and you'll see that in the footage. Now, I'm going to take some, some of the hair out, and a couple of the, the guard hairs as well. The longer hair, which helps to the taper of the fly. Now, just don't overdo it. Now, if you can, cut the hair right close to the skin. It makes it easier to get back in for your next, your next bunch of hair. Just remove some of the under fur. Now just a wee tad too much there. Length, the main part here, just the let don't just ignore the length of the guard here. The main part of the hair, you will be looking for at least the length of the hook and over the back. Just tie that one. Couple of two or three turns anyway, just to get it secure. Just gonna remove that. Then we trim it at an angle, just come in at the top end here. And the angle, the angle cut is looking basically where the body finishes is where it starts. And just trim that away, or any you missed. There we are. That just lifts up when you got with your body. It slightly brings it down and allows you to set your hair in a bit much easier. Now I've got this is flashaboo accent. In this case, the colour I've got is what they call electric blue. Now you two strands, and you only want the length of the main part of the, the tail, in this case. Just tie it in. And then start to work up. Just trim away the excess and leave that for your wing. It's important that you try and keep a decent body, just keep it as level as possible. Just work your way up. Now you could use a UTC thread. They do a fluorescent fire, fire orange, which is very good. Let's bring this up to this point here. And then way back down, I'm going to tie in, in this case, the body's peril. If I can turn it around. This is number 12. There is a, a larger one, number 10, but this is good enough for this size of fly. As I say, in the way back down, I, I usually I like to tie it in. And again, just making sure that you got a nice neat body. Now, the main reason as well is the, the thread turns underneath the pearl is you want it nice and bright. All the way down and then start to work your way back up. Go a wee bit quicker. This point here. Now, you need to protect the pearl. And at the same time, what you'll, this is what this does, I'm using super glue, so when I wind up, it sticks instantly to the actual thread, but at the same time it enhances the colour, makes it much better. And there we are. 
This is just Loctite super glue, it's with the it's called the Easy Brush. And then you just do one turn in front of the other and work your way up. Just take your time. Now what will happen is as you wind up you'll you'll see a small reservoir of super glue going with each turn. Till you get to the point where you want to tie off, just there. Nice and tight. And trim away. You got wax on your thread. I always like to wax the thread. Tidy up the area for tying in the wing now and to throw it. Now I'm using a this is just a Chinese cock hackle. It's dyed it's kingfisher blue. Now you'll get you should get two flies from one feather. Now I like to bring out the fibres with a ninety degrees from the stem. And then tear them off, just lining up the ends as I go down. And then we're just gonna you can either turn the hook upside down or pinch and loop up, which I usually do, but I'll turn it upside down. The length, you're looking for the length of the body, just a wee short throw it. Just come in and you can do, come in with two or three turns. Now what you can do is, you can come in with your nail and just slightly spread them in the bottom. Just spread out the fibres and tighten up. Now I'm going to wax my thread. Come in with a good two or three more turns. Trim away the paste. And then tidy up. Down and back up. Turn the fly round about. And then come up ready for the wing. Now I'm going to use the, the longer stuff this time. This is the longer stuff. A nice long wing. Now if you find the guard here is just a tad long. What you can do is just, what I like to do is just take it out. Bring it in a wee bit closer to the actual. In this case it's really the under for. You don't want the under fur to go any further by or by the back of the hook. There's the length there. Now you can cut it, I'm going to cut this just at this point. So it's ready to tie in. So basically what I like to do is cut it straight and then come in with the thread into the cut ends two or three times. Two or three turns to hold. Now at this point you can check to see where it's sitting. If it's come round the hook a wee bit, you can bring it round. There's a couple of hairs there I don't like, so I'm just going to take them away. I mean, being the, the thread's waxed, so you have plenty of grips. Amazing the grip you have with the wax. And then, I'm going to go down, making sure I tie in the hair first. Always been nice and tight. At the same time, forming a nice head. Now I want to see the fire on his head, so don't worry about what size it is. And then come back to the your accent, your electric blue. You want a, basically a strand either side. Now I like to just come in, two or three turns down, fold it back, and way back up, trim these away, and then again tidy the head up. Just build up your head using the thread. Keeping the thread tight and whip finish. And again, see even when you're whip finishing, if you feel there's a wee space or a wee, you can form the shape of the head a wee bit better. And there we are. Draw your thread. And that's the famous Uga and tied with the Arctic Runner and I tell you, it really makes a huge difference the throat. and then what I normally do to varnish is come in with the super glue and be very careful, you just put it on the head just all the way around, if you can rotate your vice like this do that and then once that's dry I come in with a coat of varnish which doesn't you I mean within 10 minutes or so you can, that'll be dry. And then you can come in with the varnish and 
finish it off. And there you are, and that's the famous hooker.